passing. We're expecting this interest rate hike of around half a percentage point. It could be more. Do you think that will be enough to curb this stubborn inflation? Thanks for having me on. Yes, you said it could be uh, 0.5, but also um, looking like the market's predicting 0.75 percentage points increase, which will be the largest rate raise since uh, 1989. Um, But we know today's main driver of inflation is the international gas price, which Andrew Bailey, the governor of the Bank of England, has himself admitted they have no control over. So uh, today's rate rise will do nothing to curb that. We know that bringing down the energy price cap uh, increase would lower inflation. You know, the the um, predictions have already come down a bit after the government's announcement. So it makes no sense whatsoever to be raising interest right now, especially so aggressively, you know, driving up the cost of households uh, debt across the country at a time when record numbers are being pushed into insolvency. Uh, it makes a recession much more likely and it may even risk a new financial crash it eventually further down the line. So we know that inflation is the biggest eroder of household incomes and obviously it needs to be brought under control. If you're saying the Bank of England shouldn't bring down interest rates, what should they do? What are, what are their other options? Sorry, raise interest rates. So, you know, we have to deal with the crisis we're facing now, which is um, huge inflation driven by gas prices, international gas prices, fossil fuel prices, and to an extent, um, corporate profits is also playing a role in that. You know, I think we've been having this conversation since the crash that the Bank of England is is out of tools in in the same way uh, that, that many of the economic tools we look Um, to use, you know, are tools of the past, not the present. So, you know, what the Bank of England needs to be doing is exploring alongside the Treasury and the government, what are the big challenges of today and what should our approach be? But we have to be honest with ourselves. You know, today an interest rate rise will push people into poverty. It will increase insolvency. Now, that is not good for um, the the country's economy. It's not good for for living standards. And so I think that, you know, the question is, when are we going to have this honest conversation about the fact that that these tools aren't going to do anything useful, but in fact, are just going to make um, what looks like to be quite a, a really tough winter, even worse for a lot of households across the country. It looks like the bank are going to be raising interest rates. Where do you see interest rates going? I know you're saying that they shouldn't be rising at the moment, but I think it looks like they will be. So what do you see happening going forward then? We've heard um, over a third of mortgage holders think that that will make their mortgage repayments affordable. Um, obviously, we've got really high levels of credit card debt and, and other forms of household debt and borrowing as people are struggling to get by, you know, choosing between heating and eating. Um, you know, so I said, as I said, this is going to make that debt burden um, worse and it can push many more people into insolvency obviously there are already people that have defaulted on their debt and this will make the situation worse so you know it looks like we are headed for quite a deep recession potentially in the UK um, and you know that, that financial stability risk is there um, so you know what we're hearing from both the Bank of England and to an extent um, the government and the treasury you know isn't looking at the tools we need to, to solve the challenges of today. And just quickly, we're expecting the mini budget tomorrow. We've been discussing it this morning. What do you want to hear in that tomorrow from the government? So, I mean, we'd we'd love to see um, less of of what's been coming out from um, the Prime Minister and the Chancellor around, uh, you know, we need to uh, take away the the bankers' bonuses cap, we need to deregulate the city, we need to make uh, also, they're looking to um, put tax cuts on the housing market, which can fuel a housing bubble. Um, and actually, we need to see more about what's that support for the people on lowest incomes, because they're the people that are going to be hit hardest by the the current uh, inflation, the current energy cost. You know, obviously, they've brought the cap down, but it's still going up. Um, you know, ideally, they'd be reversing the uh, energy price cap to pre-April levels. I mean, that would be the kind of top um, 
uh, the top request. But I think on top of that, we need to see um, longer term plans for insulation, uh, home insulation in the country. Uh, we need to see investment and we need to see that support for people on lowest incomes. Um, if we're going to um, curb a kind of wave of insolvencies and people getting pushed into um, into poverty and into really difficult situations this winter.